back with another video and today I am going to try to get a full face of makeup with just these two palettes so if you're interested then just keep watching so I recently got this palette and this is the makeup forever HD face essentials palette that's this one and then the other one is the sculpting palette so this one has like a highlighter in it um, you should be able to sculpt with this palette with this one uh, but this one has as you can see a blush a foundation and all that good stuff so you can do a little bit more with this one but I am going to use both um, to see if I can get a full face like I'm even gonna do my brows my lips everything I'm not gonna put on any lashes but I will use a little bit of a powder just to kind of set if I need or if I feel like it's necessary I'll use a powder to set so I'm gonna go ahead with my prep and I'm gonna start off with the Neutrogena glow primer plus serum and this is the hydro boost serum this is it and I've used this before and even though this is a cream these even though these two are cream products I still feel as though I still need to make sure I get a lot of hydration on my face so I'm just gonna start off with that and my face is already clean I did clean my face clean my face brush my teeth took a shower <laughs> did everything <laughs> okay so yeah I have that and I'm gonna go in with just one more because I just don't know how this how these palettes are gonna behave so I'm just gonna put in a little bit more and I also have a rose water and I'm just gonna this is it right here and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this as well So for my tools uh, to use with this palette or these palettes, I have a sponge and I have different kinds of brushes. I have some that are dense, that are really dense, okay? And I have some that are not so dense. They have a little bit of a give to it. This one right here has a lot of give. As far as application, I have a brush like this okay and there's a lot of give to it um, here's another brush for application okay and then for my brows i just have a regular angled brush I'm not sure if you can see that but i'm not going to do the most with the brows just fill it in a little bit and that's pretty much well i have little brushes like this for concealing under the eyes so anyway with all that being said i'm trying to figure out if i'm going to do an application with my finger you know apply it with my finger but first let me just go ahead and swatch it okay so here's the shades this is the new palette so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand just so you can kind of get an idea for my foundation shade I'm thinking I'm gonna use this one right here so let me go ahead this is four shades let me go ahead and finish swatching this side okay and now I'm gonna go on that side and I'm gonna swatch those two and there we have it those are all the shades so you can definitely kind of play with the foundation shades to get your shade your needed shade because I think that this the deepest one is relatively deep okay so let me do this one as well just in case you haven't seen it so I'm gonna start off with this side and as you can see with this palette it's not as deep as the shades in this one and I do have the deepest uh, palette in the shade so let me go ahead and I feel like for sculpting and contouring I might be able to get away with this one and this one up here and then for a foundation shade I'm gonna go with this one and then for highlight under my eye I'm gonna use this shade right here and for the blush I'm not sure but it's, it's gonna be this one or maybe that one okay 
So let me go ahead and wipe all of this off. Okay, so I think to apply it, I'm going to use my fingers. Okay, so I know some people might be like, oh my God, she's going to use her fingers, but they are clean. <laughs> I'm gonna, for sculpting, I'm going to use this shade right here and let's just see how that works. So can y'all see that? I think that that will work as a good sculpting shade. So, and what I can tell you about it is, I wouldn't say it's stiff, but at the same time, I wouldn't say it's just a whole lot of slip to it. It kind of leads me to believe that after I have it all blend in, that I possibly could get away with not setting it, but we're gonna see. And I'm gonna put just a little up in here and just a little right here. And I probably got too much. And I'm gonna go down here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. And I'm gonna start with one of uh, the brushes that is really that I have that's dense, and this that would be this one. And, and I'm hoping you can see how easily that's blending out. Okay. And my brush is a little bit damp, so it's not just a totally dry brush. And so far, you know, I'm not mad at it. I feel like if I was, let's say I traveled a lot for work or either wore makeup every day, you know, so far, this seems like something I would gravitate to. So now that I have that all blended out, I'm gonna go in with the foundation shade that I said I was gonna use. And that would be this one, this shade right here in the middle. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with my fingers. And I think it's a pretty good match. And like I said, by this shade being so deep, you could really, you know, just kind of mix and match the shades to your liking. Uh, because after this shade, there's two, two other shades that's deeper than that one. That would be these two. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with a brush. I'm just going to kind of work in sections. So I don't feel as though it's giving that much coverage. So if that's the objective, this may not be the palette for you, but it's not looking bad, I don't think. All right, let me go ahead and do this side. And I have to say, I do like how well it's blending out. I don't know if that's because of the prep, all of the hydrating prep that I used, or if it's just the palette. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. See, this blends so good. And it's this brush. Get you a brush that um, does have some give in it, but just not too much give for blending out. And it makes sure it's super, super soft. So look at that. Wow. Not a lot of coverage, but I think that looks really good. All right, now for the forehead. Let's get the forehead done. Like that almost matches my forehead to the T. Do y'all see that? How well that matches? Maybe it's just me. It could be just me. It definitely could be me. Okay, how are we looking so far? Now, mind you, I don't have on my glasses. I guess I should put my glasses on. <laughs> kind of see what this is looking like. I mean, it look. I think it looks looking good, guys. I feel like I need to get contacts. I know, I know, but I can't seem to get that, learn how to, you know, stick that, the contact in my eye. All right, 
Okay, so let's bl keep blending. And it feels really good, I have to say. So this is super light, it feels really good. As you can see, you're not getting a lot of coverage, but I just feel like this is for somebody who wants an everyday palette or just kind of like a one-stop shop. You know, you can do it all. And really, you don't need this one. You could just kind of work off of this one. But now, I feel like this is the tricky part. And I'm gonna go in with the under eye highlight. It seems like all of these shades somehow some way have like a a little bit of a pink undertone to it it could just be me or I might have to mix okay let me try this whoa that looks really light okay I'm gonna add that shade and the shade that I uh, used as my foundation shade I'm gonna add that on top just to kind of tone it down a little bit and I feel like that's doing the trick and as you can see, it's just doing a little, it's not doing the most. But as you can see, I still have that darkness up here that I want to do something about. Let me try this shade on, on my eyelid. And see that to me, that's reading like really white. But I just want a little something to kind of address the darkness up there and I'm definitely gonna have to use a brush to blend this out because I can see how it's like looking really choppy can you see how choppy that looks okay so to blend that out let's see I'm gonna go back in with this brush and this may not be something that I can use on the lids it's just not to me it's not let me go in with my sponge instead of using my finger and let's see what happens I don't know if it's just me, but it seems a bit patchy. I feel like with this palette, you have to be able to use the right tool. There is a bit of a learning curve. There's so many different ways that you can apply it. You can apply it with your finger or brush. Definitely gonna have to set the eyes. But I feel like it just gives you just enough to do a little something. And I feel like it's something down here that I still need to blend out. So let me go back over here again. So for me, the under eyes get a little bit tricky and I don't know if, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but so far, I am really liking how this looks on the skin. I feel like I do want to put a little bit more around my mouth just to see if I can build it up and it doesn't look like I can. It just kind of looks like that's it. I'm going to take a sponge and go over everything but if you had dry skin outside of the eyes okay I, I really do feel as though you could get away without setting it the part that i put under my eyes and it could be just that i put so much of it it needs to be set hands down no escaping it it just is what it is so now i'm gonna go in with a blush and i think i want to I really want to use this shade, but I think I'm just going to use this shade. And I think I'm going to be bold and use a brush. <laughs> Let's just be bold, okay? So I'm really liking the outcome, y'all. Can y'all see that? This is like pretty. And it's so easy to use. Now, for the fun part. <laughs> Let me use this shade right here. Okay. And I'm going to use a brush. And I'm just going to use an eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to put it right here. Ooh. That is so pretty. And y'all know me. I got to put some on my nose. Put some over here. Gosh, that's so pretty. And y'all know I got to put it up here a little bit. Don't y'all like how natural all of this looks? And it's just one palette so far. We're just using one palette. And I really do hate to, I feel like I might mess it up if I add a powder, but it's just necessary. Just a little bit, just to kind of set the under eye. I don't want to accidentally make myself look like the Crip Creeper. Okay. All 
part so I have all of that applied and I didn't put any powder down here but you can see it's almost as though this self sets a bit I'm gonna go in and fill in my brows just a little bit okay let's kind of brush all of this up And you know what while we're at it let's just go ahead and try to clean it up okay since we're trying to see if we can get a full face i'm gonna try to clean it up with this shade right here Okay, so now that I have that done, let me just go in and blend that out a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with the sponge that I used that already has a little powder on it. And I'm just going to lightly go over that because the powder, I feel like the powder is just making this look look something else. And I'm just trying to make it look as natural as possible natural looking as possible or just trying to get that minimalistic easy look so the last thing that i'm going to use is a lip color okay and now i can go in with this beauty and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use that shade And just in case you're wondering, this is just an eyeliner pencil. That's it. Or not eyeliner pencil, eyeliner brush. So I got all of the blush applied. It took a lot to, I get, I guess, get it this pigmented. Um, and even, you know, with this application, I still feel as though it looks patchy. But, you know, hey, it is a blush. It's not a lipstick. But in a pinch, I feel as though these two palettes, even this, let's see, which one is it? Even this palette, <laughs> the, the latest one in a pinch, like if you just wanted to have something just a one-stop shop palette I think that you could definitely get away with it if you do put anything around your eye you are gonna have to use just a little bit of powder or it's just gonna it's, it's not gonna look right I think I'm not sure I have to take some pictures and go outside to see what it looks like but I think the the eyes I think they look okay but you know what let's just go ahead and use a bronzer I'm just gonna put that in my crease just to see what happens, just a little bit. Let me put on a little bit of mascara, just kind of, just to kind of complete the look. But yeah, I'm liking this. I really am. And I know $88. That's pretty steep. But if you have this palette, you got your foundation shade, sculpting shade, highlighting shade. You have a blush. You can either even use those blush shades as a lipstick. You know what it is? I think it's coming off kind of patchy. You can definitely tell me what you think, but you even got a lipstick. And then you can fill in your brows a little bit with it. And if you have mature skin like mine, I'm 52 so you probably you can definitely get away mm -hmm. without setting it like I'm not adding I'm not gonna add any more product to this look my mess my lashes are like non-existent that's why I like wearing lashes 
because I literally don't have any eyelashes. <laughs> okay, so I think that might be it, y'all. So yeah, that's it. A full face with just these two palettes. Well, almost a full face. I did use a little bit of a powder to set all of the action that I did under the eyes, but that's it. Outside of that, it's just these two palettes. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these palettes and if you're the type of person where you're just looking for a one-stop shop. You know, you can really go with a product that you can get your foundation, concealer, highlight, blush, all that in one palette. Let me know if that sounds like something that you would be interested in using. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.